Okay guys, I'm back with a video update. This is part number two in the video series on how to hatch brine shrimp. As you can see, I got my brine shrimp hatchery set up over here. Here we are 24 hours later. You see that reddish orange color, just like I told you before in the previous video, which indicates that the brine shrimp have hatched and they're swimming around in there with their little yolk sacs. They're ready to feed to your fry. So now what you do is you have to harvest the brine shrimp. You're going to take your little container out, put it onto the table, you run your little rigid airline tubing down into the bottom, and you put a nice little light source, maybe a small HID flashlight or anything that's really bright that you could concentrate on one small area. What that light is going to do is it's going to attract all the brine shrimp, they're going to start to migrate towards the light because they're attracted to light. Once the brine shrimp make their way down, you're going to get a clear water column over here and all the eggshells are going to float towards the top. So brine shrimp all that good stuff down here clear water column eggshells no good you don't want any of this like I said before your rigid airline tube towards the bottom you're gonna create a siphon suck out all the brine shrimp get your little container to put your brine shrimp into get as much as you can with the salt water and everything you want all that stuff because that's what's gonna keep the brine shrimp alive keep everything in the container when you're ready to store it you take it over to the refrigerator you put it in the, in the refrigerator, you know, the lower temperature in the refrigerator is going to slow down the metabolism of brine shrimp, which means that they're going to be able to hold their yolk sac for a long amount of time. And roughly for me, it's been about two days, and two days worth of feeding when I keep the brine shrimp in the refrigerator. And then once I want to collect the brine shrimp from that container that I have in the refrigerator, I'm going to take my little eyedropper, like what I have over here, and... I take out a small portion of brine shrimp, what I feel that the angel fish are going to eat, the fry, and I pour some with my eyedropper into my brine shrimp sieve that I have also over here. And what happens is, this brine shrimp sieve, you see it's mesh on the bottom, I pour the brine shrimp into here, they stay at the bottom over here in this area, all that salt water and everything gets filtered out through the sieve and all the brine shrimp stay inside the sieve so I take this I run it on the chlorinated tap water straight out of the faucet you know a little cool to the touch rinse it out rinse it out rinse it out you rinse out all that salt the chlorine in the tap water kills the bacteria and it makes the brine shrimp nice and fresh to feed to your fry then once you're done with that pour the brine shrimp into a little container once again use your eyedropper and you can feed your brine shrimp over to your, your baby fry whatever you have and you're gonna see how they attack this stuff they really go for it the brine shrimp trigger the instinct to feed in the fry give it a shot I'm doing my best to bring these informative videos to you I hope they help as always subscribe to my videos post your comments tell me what you think I hope this helps thanks a lot guys thanks for watching bye